That is so fucking loud. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the finale of Dugtober. It is to boldly flee time. What do you think of that, Devin? Oh, I was waiting for the fucking ear rape to stop. But... <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the final film of Dugtober. The one you've all been waiting for. The one Austin's been chomping at the bits to watch. The one that's infamous for being one of the worst creations from any YouTuber ever. Doug Walker's magnum opus what was supposed to be the conclusion of the Nostalgia Critic character. Ladies and gentlemen, the three and a half hour fucking movie. Ladies and gentlemen, I should also mention we're dropping this on Halloween, so happy Halloween, everyone. Um, for this... October 31st Halloween night the fucking candy we're passing out to you on this evening oh is going so you're saying to be... Halloween you mean nostalgia ween right you at every day you become <laughs> one step closer to getting strangled <laughs> every day but as I was saying the candy we're passing out to you on this Hallow's Eve is not your typical, you know, Reese Cups or Hershey's, nothing like that, no. It's not even, you know, something like fucking any kind of, like, drugs or anything. It's not even like that, something that, you know, could at least take that drug. No, no, what we're passing out to you tonight is, uh, is the fucking copy of insanity, ladies and gentlemen, our treat to you, and the trick to me, this Halloween, Doug Walker's To Boldly Flee from 2012, am I right? Mm-hmm. The third and final film in the Nostalgia Critic Trilogy as I said, Doug Walker's magnum opus, and from what Austin told me, this is supposed to be the conclusion of the Nostalgia Critic character, correct? Mm-hmm. So, do you know, like, what the, like, what the reason was why he kept doing Nostalgia Critic after this? Because people complained. So, Because everything so, else he did was fucking cringy. Well, everything he does is cringy, so I don't see what the difference was, but fucking... Yeah, but this was at the time where Doug was actually beloved, and, you know, people actually cared about his reviews. Oh, man, that didn't age well. <laughs> yeah. Guess it aged like Doug Walker's hairline. Now the love for him is almost non-existent, just like his hair. <laughs> but, so, I, I, do, I do want to ask... Like, did he make this movie because he was tired of playing the Nostalgia Critic? Yeah. <clears throat> Believe it or not, Doug Walker, the man who plays who has played Nostalgia Critic for almost over ten years, was tired of playing the Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> well, neither one of us has seen this pile of shit, but. We're gonna fucking see it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is this the first movie that we're watching that's over three hours long? I believe so, yes. Because I know the Spider-Man movies came close. They were like two hours and 40 minutes. But I believe this is the first one we've watched that's over three hours. This is three hours and 28 minutes. This is going... When I tell you this is going... To be so fucking awful. 
not only that, I have been informed that this is not only just a three and a half hour nostalgia critic fucking masturbation fest. No, 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 no. It's also a fucking musical, apparently. Which just, it makes it ten times worse, because if you know me, you know, I fucking hate musicals. So, this is just wonderful, man. Wonderful. Thank you, thank you to fucking Doug Walker for making this fucking atrocity. Just, just for me, Doug. Thank you. It's made just for you. Remember, he bought new glasses, Devin. He bought new glasses. Do you know, like, when in 2012 this came out? I believe October. Oh, dear God. You know what that means? Mm hmm. That means that this October, this Doug Tober, is the fucking 10 year anniversary of To Boldly Flee. Yep. Dear God. Wait, so. Wait, 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 wait. When this came out. How many years had he been doing the Nostalgia Critic when this came out? Well, he started in 2007, so... One, two, three, four, five, six? Oh, dear God, so you're telling me this year makes 16 years of him playing Nostalgia Critic. Mm -hmm. Oh, my... God, like, bro, like, he, like, I, you could say the same thing about fucking James Rolfe and AVGN, because he's been doing it since 2004, but at least, at, at least AVGN is still good, it's still funny, it's still well written, it's still, it's still well done, I, and if, especially if you see the stuff he's done recently, for like his episode 200 or his Polybius review, like he's really gone all out and put his heart and soul into it. And then you just see the newer Nostalgia Critic stuff, and it's just so like you could tell that Doug is just so jaded, and it's just it's just overwhelmingly cringy. And and when it's not that, it's just lifeless, and it you know. Watching the Nostalgia Critic videos, it gives you that feeling of, like, beating a dead horse. And I don't know if it's just me, but I can tell when I look into Doug Walker's eyes and, like, his current stuff, I could tell that this is a man that... I, I can tell that he wants to be done with this shit, at least Nostalgia Critic-wise. Because it just doesn't seem like he has that same, like, passion for it anymore. You know, even if he's still pumping them out and shit, and, and you know, even if people are enjoying it, eating it up, like, I, I could just tell that Doug just doesn't have the same passion. Yeah. And it's not even, it's not even just Doug, like, you have people like fucking Brad Jones, who still does stuff for a channel awesome like you could tell he's like just not feeling it. god i wonder how long brad jones has been playing cinema snob i would guess for probably like know. the same amount of time what i do know is if we do not start this we're gonna be here all night <laughs> well you know maybe maybe this is my way of getting back at you because you know this movie's gonna be long no doubt this is gonna be one of the worst things i've ever been put through but at the end of the day, you're the one editing this, so I can just make this worse for you if I keep talking. <laughs> so, this, you know, fucking, why don't, why don't I just ramble incoherently for 45 minutes? <laughs> I mean, you could ramble about Dougieism. You know, when you say Dougieism, it sounds like a fucking religion, and it makes me really <laughs> uncomfortable. Like, it makes it sound like a cult. <laughs> <laughs> like it makes me think like Doug is like fucking Charles Manson or something or like some kind of figure like that or like it makes me think of the fucking cult from Far Cry 5 the fucking Saints or whatever they were called oh wait no the Saints is Saints Row actually but whatever they were called in Far Cry 5 like that's what it's making me think Dougieism is 
I swear to God, if you take the fucking cult leader from Far Cry 5 and you put Doug Walker's face on it, I'm gonna be so mad. What if the white rabbit is the, just Doug Walker? Then I will no longer watch wrestling, if that's the case. <laughs> okay, Austin, well, everybody's saying it's gonna be Bray Wyatt. What if it's revealed to be Doug Walker? What What's your thoughts gonna be then? Oh, I'll, I'll be pissed, but still. Hmm... Well, this is Taboli Flea from 2012, and you, you wanna, you know what, why don't you go ahead, you did it for the first movie, for kick ass -y. you did it for Suburban Nights, why don't you go ahead and tell me who in the hell is in this movie? Because why Alrighty. not, man? Why not? Because I, no I, know, I know the usual crew is in here, fucking Doug, Brad, and Phelous, and fucking Film Brain, and Angry Joe, I know they're all fucking in it. Oh, let me look it up right now. Boldly flee. I can't believe these are considered, like, legitimate films. That makes me sad for the film industry. That these are considered legitimate films. Like, at least I could see why Endgame could be considered a legitimate film, but not fucking Doug. Man. Well, here we go. Your baby daddy, Doug Walker. Nostalgia chick. Linkara, um, the Spoony one, slash Doctor Insano. Great, could see his multiple personality disorder again. <laughs> Brad Jones. Mm-hmm. Todd in the Shadows, Angry Joe, Film Brain, Bayless, Lupa, Bennett the Sage. Pa, Jew Wario, Mars Girl. Okay, we get to see more Jew Wario, as if, as if what we saw in Suburban Nights wasn't enough proof that Doug knew what he did. Sad Panda. Oh the no! Last Angry E. La Sad Panda. Oh God. <laughs> Eight Bit Mickey. Um. The Sci-Fi Guy. James Ralph. Oh, God. Does James Ralph play a stupid fucking orb in this movie, too? He plays or, Gort. Gort. What the f why can't he... Why can't... Like, is there... Okay, I gotta... I gotta say something. Is there... Like, how come... How fucking come... All these fucking reviewers that Doug has in this movie, they're in the... They're in the fucking movie as their review characters. But can I ask... Why the fuck is James Rolfe not allowed to be AVGN? I don't know. Is Doug afraid that he's going to overshadow him? I don't know. Because, like, in the, fir in the first movie, he played Bored James, which no one fucking knows about Bored James unless you're a legitimate AVGN fan and you've watched a lot of his older stuff. Otherwise, you're not going to fucking know who Bored James is. Then in this in uh, suburban nights, he played a fucking orb of the fucking whatever the fuck it was, of the ancient world or whatever the hell that was. And then this one, he's playing someone named Gort. Why is he not allowed to be the angry video game nerd? You would think that to get more people to watch it, you could say, "Hey, the AVGN is in this movie." But I, I I'm telling you, I think Doug is insecure. And I think that he's jealous of AVGN. This is legitimately my thoughts. I think, I think he felt like he was going to be overshadowed if James played AVGN. So I bet you Doug's probably told him, "Oh, well, I want you to play this character just so he doesn't play AVGN." Because I don't see any other reason. Like, why would he not be allowed to play AVGN? I I don't know. Like. I, like, do I do I sound crazy or am I making sense? No, you you make sense, yeah. Cause, cause you know I've seen I've seen videos like there's this one video I don't know if you ever seen it but it was called it was called like why uh, why fans still love James Rolfe but hate Doug Walker and it was like given all these like different examples of like how Doug Walker turned out now and how AVGN turned out now. And like, and well, mostly for Doug, it listed all the channel awesome controversies. So, but like, 
anywhere you look, just my my point is like anywhere you look, like people love AVGN way more than they love Doug, and even people like who back in the day were like fans of the Nostalgia Critic over AVGN, like even now they admit that AVGN was always fucking better. So I don't I don't know. I just think it's like I think I definitely think this was jealousy from Doug Walker because in 2012 James Rolfe was still killing it as AVGN so fucking but but I also think that because this was Doug Walker's magnum opus and it was supposed to be his last time playing the nostalgia critic character I bet you he didn't want James Rolfe to play AVGN because Doug was probably like, well, if this is the end for the Nostalgia Critic, I don't want the Nostalgia Critic character to be overshadowed by anyone or anything, and I don't want AVGN to take away from the fucking magnum opus fucking ego-stroking fucking cock-sucking of the Nostalgia Critic character. That's just my well, that's we, just my opinion. We have more people on here. <clears throat> that dude in Suede, Mega G Wolf, Handsome Tom, Rap Critic. Rap Critic? Who the fuck is Rap Critic? Uh, he's a... I used to watch him. He's a YouTuber that used to just review rap lyrics and shit. And that's it. Jesus. So, can I ask, what is this movie about? Like, genuinely... Well, there's a plot synopsis. Because Kickassia was about Doug getting the reviewers. I, I asked because of what I said in Suburban Nights. Because Kickassia was about Doug getting all the reviewers together to take over whatever it was to turn it into Kickassia. And then Suburban Nights was Doug getting all the reviewers together to go on this quest for the Infinity Gauntlet or whatever the fuck it was. Hi. So is this one also this like Doug getting all the paragraph. reviewers together to do a task for him? When the style trick stopped blaming him, can't stop blaming himself for the loss of Mati. A uh, weird string of events begin to unfold that could shake the very fabric of the internet reviewing as we know it. The evil psycho Ter Terrell, I, don't, I think that's what, what it is, under orders from mysterious. Eurocrat is out for revenge against the critic and is convinces the government to arrest him. <laughs> what? While Mekara is reprogrammed to incaps incapacitate Linkara and take his place. Meanwhile, Pa and his friends discovered some weird signals emitting from space and Spoonie seems to be the key to it all. Finally, they discover the, that this force is Mati, whose spirits inhabits the plot hole in which no life can be sustained without horrific mishaps in order to try and right his wrongs to find the purpose within his life. The critic summons his colleagues, the Stout Chick, Pod, Simistop, 8-Bit Mickey, Pinnit the Sage, Luke, I don't know, Film Brain, Phalus, Todd, Todd, Lupa, Linkara, Angry Joe, G Warrior, Sad Panda, and Mars Girl for help. They steal equipment from Dr. Insano and transform Critic's house into a galactic cruiser. What? <laughs> Turn his house into a galactic cruiser. Oh, God, I can't wait the to see the CGI for that. And, the fucking... and they, they name it the SS, the USS Exit Strategy, and blast off into space bound for the moon of Europa, where the plot, plot hole is located. <laughs> I can't even, man. What followed is a series of hilarious hijinks and tear-jerking drama. Yeah. I swear off. I'll, I'll be crying, but not for that forces. reason. The jaded General Zod, an evil executor who kidnaps Cinema Snob, makes it his, him his apprentice. 
Will the nostalgia critic give it all up or make a supreme sacrifice? Well, I mean, as you could tell, after this movie, he did not give it all up, and he kept playing the nostalgia <laughs> critic character. So, tear jerking drama. Yep. So you're telling me, did the other two movies have tear jerking drama? <laughs> Not from what I saw. Hold on a second. Keep talking about how much you love fucking G Wario. No, oh, fuck no. Uh, fuck G Wario. <laughs> Has like no photos. No, I don't. All right. Ew! What, what fucking Doug is wearing in this film? Oh, uh, you realize? He's wearing like a Judge Dread outfit. You realize how awful this is going to be? This is going to be so bad. It's not even going to be comprehensible how bad it is. So before we start. What's the time rack? I'm curious how long we've been going. Uh, 28 minutes. Oh, great. Well, this is definitely going to be four hours long, then. Yep. Have fun, Austin, editing it. Uh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> no, let's sit here for another 45 minutes. So it gets no, you, hours. And no. Let's try to make this no. longer than the triple feature. No, God, no. That hasn't even came out yet. Stop. <laughs> That'll be the All next right. thing that comes out after this, actually. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, um... Well... I think we covered everything we needed to cover. Um... Neither one of us has seen this before. Covered that already. Uh, so... I guess we might as well get into this before this gets any longer. Alrighty. Do the countdown. I'm not fucking doing it. You're, you're doing the countdown. You're doing no. the countdown. This whole no. thing. You're doing the countdown, motherfucker. No. I did. The like, I did like three countdowns for Suburban Nights because you're fucking internet. So don't you even. You're doing the countdown. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> doing the countdown. No, I refuse. God damn it! I just want to get this over with. Three, two. One go. Told you I was gonna make you do it. <laughs> Fuck you. I just wanna get it over with you, bitch. Oh, the swastika again. I mean the channel awesome logo. I almost fucking spit tank. I already hate it. <laughs> Like, what is this voiceover? Turn this down a little bit. Oh, God. So this... Oh, there is continuity, because it's playing the fucking ending scene of fucking Suburban Nights. It's your favorite movie, Devin. No, it's really not. If that's my favorite movie, then your favorite movie is Hoobie Halloween, then. Oh, fuck you, nah. You know, at least, at least Doug Walker didn't fucking dedicate his films to anyone but himself. That's true. No. You realize this one movie is longer than some of the double features we've done? Yeah. God damn, what did you just fucking shatter? <laughs> oh my god, that sounded devastating. <laughs> what did you cup. do? That's <laughs> all it was, it was a cup. What did you do to that poor cup? It sounded like you fucking eviscerated it. <laughs> it fucking fell. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it sounded like you shot it with a rocket launcher. <laughs> Why is there a can of Quaker Oats flying through space? Oh dear God! 
Not the Quaker Oats. Channel Awesome presents the bane of my fucking existence. A That Guy with the Glasses production. Oh, the CGI is so bad. Oh, I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a story about that. So, these effects are kind of bad on purpose. Oh, what? Why? Oh, there's the title card, To Boldly Flee. So, I found out that, you remember how, how Phalus helped do the effects in Suburban Nights? Yeah. So, I found out that by this point, like, Phalus said that he was being treated so badly by Channel Awesome, and uh, uh, basically, like, they were overworking him so much that when Doug told him he was doing the effects for this movie, he half-assed it on purpose. Oh, and, my God. And, and uh, there was, like, a review that Phalus did where he was talking about it, where... Because... There's oh, a, God, you, Mario. Because there's, like, a a commentary with Phalus and Lupa. And, the, uh, like, on some of the effects, Lupa's like, wow, these effects look really, really fucking bad. And Phalus, was, he said something like, he was like, <sighs> he, he said, like, some kind of remark about it and was, like, explaining why it was bad. So... Oh. You, Doug. Oh, God. You, what was that? <laughs> Costumes by Featherweight. Special effects. Oh, yeah, there's Phalus in the special effects. <laughs> Keep keep that keep in mind. <laughs> the reason the effects are bad is because Phalus did not give a fuck. He fucking oh, based on a concept by Rob Walker, written by Doug Walker and Rob Walker. What a shocker! Did you say Barney Walker was in this? Mm-hmm. Dude. Fucking, oh my god. Edited and directed by Doug. So you're telling me all three of these were edited and directed by Doug and written by Doug and starring Doug. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he, he's more of an egomaniac than Adam Sandler. Jesus. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, with the opening credits out of the way, we got a three and a half hour movie ahead of us. Here we go. Oh god, this guy. Are people just dressing like Nostalgia Critic now? I don't know. <laughs> did want to ask, did you have any alcohol for this? Seven. No, I do not. Oh no. Because you know, throughout the whole time we've been doing this fucking Dugtober, I've been in the process of moving, so I haven't fucking got the chance to get any, so Might be getting some later. <laughs> do you have any? I have some. God the back of his car got fucked up. Did you see that? Yeah. So, he heard something from a satellite? Oh, great. Doug Walker. It's Devin's baby daddy. What an ugly bedspread. <laughs> Why does he have a box of Cheerios in his room? Oh, his name was Malachite? I thought it was Malachi. That's what I thought, too. He's still wearing the fucking mama jeans. Have 
The fucking pedo jeans. The G Wario jeans. <laughs> I'll just call them the Gene Warios. <laughs> You, what's that picture in the background with ABG internet? I didn't see it. Oh, film oh, brain. God. I dislike Film Brain. Every the more and more I see him, I dislike him more. <laughs> well, okay, what's your thoughts on Film Brain? Oh, he's fucking terrible. He's so balding now, dude. Breakfast in the sky. Uh, who could it be? Oh, God, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, it's Barney Walker! It's Barney Walker! <sighs> Do you see Barney? <laughs> Barney. I don't. <laughs> Barney. Barney. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Is that fucking, um... What is his name? Fucking multiple personality guy? Yeah. Is he wearing a trash bag as a shirt? What is that? Yeah, I believe so. He's fucking Dr. Insano, right? That's his name? Yeah. Energoda? What? I... I don't know. Eat at Mega Pizza? Energy Chips? What? What? Why are they making all these knockoff products? Oh, it's Ma it's uh, Malachite. Well, the guy who played Malachite. Jesus. Why are you playing a fucking? Visible representation of Josh Gad. Can you pause for a second? Yeah. Alright, sorry about that. You ready to unpause? Yeah. In three, two, one, unpause.
you're telling me the man who played the main villain in the last movie is playing an, a nerdy character in this movie. Yeah. So why do they have a fucking space committee? Why? <laughs> I don't know. Is he on house arrest? I guess. What the f What did he do to get on house arrest? Was Ju Wario involved? <laughs> Just me or is your thing messing up too a little bit? Mine was messing up a little bit, yeah. Dude, it must have been whatever the fucking person ripped it from. I don't know if they ripped it like from the DVD or what. I don't know. Man, why do why do you have to say Coolio? You know yeah. who Coolio, you, you know who Coolio is? Yeah, now that this recording last night he passed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Impeccable fucking timing, man. <laughs> no. So Doctor Insano is playing the main villain of this movie, I guess. I guess. So where does the tear-jerking drama come in? I don't know. <laughs> what? A, where's the hilarious hijinks? I don't know that either. <laughs> Ooh. 
when do we get to see his house turn into a fucking space cruiser? Or galaxy <laughs> cruiser, whatever the fuck it was. So that guy's name is Paul. Why is their why is all their quality so bad all of a sudden? I don't know. That looks real. That looks like they took actual news footage and used it. Uh, did, he say, did he say Titty Graham? <laughs> What's the timer at? It is at... Five minutes. Alright, let me save a clip. Alright, I started another one. I'm just dreading for when the musical parts start. <laughs> just we're 20 minutes in and there hasn't been a single song. Ew, what is this? I think these are trying to be Star Wars references. The thing is, I have not watched Star Wars. Nor do I care about Star Wars, so...
Uh, they just literally just admitted that they're ripping off Star Wars. They literally just admitted it, dude. Like, why? Does he have a Chinese finger trap on? Yep. Oh god, a power glove. That's a sliding door, it's not like it locks. Ew, that TV. Comedy, Devin. I'm still waiting for the hilarious hijinks. Or you could tell it's just like a stock picture of a house. Yeah, it is. It looks like you got the picture of that house from fucking Getty Images. Jesus Christ. So what's your thoughts so far, Austin? How are you enjoying to boldly flee? I'm not full on, honestly. What? Is that not the full? I don't even know what's going on, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't even fucking know what's going on.
Was that the tear jerking drama? I guess so. Oh my god, he literally has the posters of the other movies in his room. What a fucking oh, self-mark. Oh, no. Ew, and there's a poster that has himself on it too. And it looks like a Star Wars. Ew, AVGN's on it. And that's the AVGN poster, poster I was talking about earlier. Oh god. Oh god, there's Brad and... That's supposed to be comedy? I guess so. There's incest in this movie, Austin. How do you feel now? I hate it. Oh my god. can't have this in your movie. <laughs> he had a trans festite joke. How is Doug not cancelled? Oh, there's Nostalgia <laughs> Chick. Oh, great.
locks, dye hair, tarn have that I mean he has the odds for her. So hold on a second. So you're telling me what? <laughs> you're telling me that guy that we saw had the hots for Lupa. Correct. I guess. That's yeah. What that, that's what critic just said. So therefore, critic. I'm oh, sorry, Doug is okay with having someone in the movie I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> admittedly say they have a crush on Lupa while he has fucking Lupa and Phalus in the same movie is what you're telling me. Yep. Wow, Doug. No wonder Phalus half-assed the special effects. Mind we haven't seen failures at all in this. Not yet, but I'm sure we will. Haven't seen Lupa yet either, or Sad Panda, or all those other people. T reference. Where do you think you are right now? Well, <laughs> oh, there's Lupa. I'll be right back. You don't have to pause. Okay. I'm back, G Wario fan. All right, nostalgia critics, lover. <laughs> Dude, it took you a while to come up with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man.
Is it that hard to unplug a computer, Doug? I guess so. God, this is gonna be a drag, isn't it? Jesus. Oh, not now you say that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Doug. Wow, those fucking effects. You that fucking hot dog. Humor and hijinks, Austin. Humor and fucking hijinks. Oi. <laughs> That's a PNG. Oh, oh, oh God. 
That's so terrible. Oh, I don't like your music. No, man. <laughs> I hear music. What I is music. this? Ew, the effects. Where's Phalus? <laughs> Look at that! Ew. <laughs> what the fuck did I just see? I don't know. Well, oh, there's rap critic. So God, that guy has a lot of games. <laughs> what is this music? I don't know. What? Whoa. Oh god, Phalus. No, not G Wario. So you're telling me Doug literally stopped the cure for cancer. What a piece of shit. Yep. <laughs> wow, Doug. Wow, Doug. So he can just teleport people now? That's a thing. I guess. He couldn't do that in the last movie. Last two movies. No. Think about it this way, at least this is in parts. Not yeah. yet. What are you barking at, dog? I don't know what the heck my dog was barking at. He was the the spirit of Mati. God, the acting is so bad. Uh, no offense. A lot of offense. Why the hell should we trust you? Come on, what have I ever lied to any of you guys? Oh my god, you guys, I want a car! Check my mail that off. Send my snap filler in. You're gonna love this. Okay, I lied a few times. And I know I've made some mistakes in the past. Thousands. 
And sometimes I pledge into dates. Always. But at least I had the best intentions in mind. Yours. And no, stop giving him lines. Every time I see Chihuahua now, I just think of the fucking costume he was in the last movie. So fuck, man. Yes, Doctor Insano. Yep. Wait. <laughs> so he's playing three characters this movie? Yeah. Oh, God. Almost an hour into this. We're so close. <laughs> Fact of the matter is, we're not even. That's not even close. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying my best to get through this, man. <laughs> so, so far, it's not as bad as Suburban Nights, but I know that there's a lot of filler. And it's probably going to get worse throughout. You don't have to pause. Do you say I don't have to pause? Yes. Okay.
But don't say no, I'm curious. What does any of this have to do with Matty and Spoonie? And please, give the explanation that will make you talk the longest. Well, that is one of the great mysteries, isn't it? I dare say. The oh my fucking god, this... So they just happen to have the perfect size for everything they stole, okay. To boldly flee where no one has fled before. It sounds like Austin fled the fucking country. I don't know where he went. Yeah, you know, that's saying a lot, Doug, when you have a fucking fat wife, isn't it, Doug? That's saying a lot. No, he just fucking showed that person's license plate. What the fuck did I just come back to? <laughs> they're build they're turning Critic's house into the Galactic Space Cruiser. Oh my god, god damn it. <laughs> Why does that guy with the glasses with the beard look like gone? Why does the other guy look like fucking Paul Heyman? <laughs> Oh yeah, he put on a pair of earphones with fucking pointy ears on it for some reason. Because he said, they're, they're supposed to look like Yoda ears. And he was like, he was like, uh, he was like, before we go, let me put on the proper attire. And then Critic was like, he was like, he was like you're such a geek. And the guy was like, he was, he said something and then Critic was like, that's why you're undateable. And I was like, really, Doug? That's coming from you with your fucking fat wife? Oh, my God. Did he just fucking hit them with a fucking vibrator? I believe so. The reason I left is I had to get myself some Hawaiian, more Hawaiian punch because I'm like 
try and preserve my voice, I guess, a little bit. Why are you trying to preserve my your voice? <laughs> my throat was dry and shit. Fucking god. Why is he the fucking captain? <sighs> Not Why? the wee wheel, man. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Is so bad, dude. Officially, an hour into it. What's the time, Rat? It is at nine minutes. You save a clip. All right, I start another one. You realize that we've already been doing this for a fucking hour and a half. And it's already two clips. <laughs> There's still two and a half hours left. Pain. I hit my <laughs> Think about it this way. We will not have to do these ever again. <laughs> I know, but fuck, man. Like, there's still two and a half hours left. That's like basically saying there's a fucking a Spider-Man Far From Home left. God damn it. Oh my god, what is that? Uh, okay, what the fuck? Is it just me, or is Lupa dressed like Kim Possible? I see it, yeah. Well, I think it's about time. We get to the Dipoli Flea Parents Guide. You know, the Parents Guide started off as something to fuck with you, and now they're in these movies. It, it just makes it, it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's just like such a low blow. So, sex nudity is mild. 8-bit Mickey clobbers two government agents with the vibrator. 
8 bit Mickey suggests that the team should have a sexy dance party that never happens. Nostalgia Chick flirts with Todd, who rejects her advances. No! 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 no. It's oh! Something, it's something terrible, isn't it? It's something no. god awful. No! Oh god, that's gonna be so cursed. Oh, Jew Wario battles Mekara shirtless. <laughs> oh no. Todd and Lupa hold hands at one point, but it doesn't go any further. Uh, violence and gore is mild. The stop chick is chased by gun shooting henchmen. Cartoon action sci-fi violence, mostly nothing too dramatic, played to last mostly. Did they just say that Film Brain just shat out Critic's ankle bracelet? I do not know. I really look at the parents guide. Profanity, moderate. One character's name is Lame R. Prick, and there are some cusses such as fuck, shit, dick, etc. that never, it's never really heavily used. Uh, alcohol, drugs, and smoking, none. Frightening and intense scenes. Makara and General Zod may be intimidating to younger viewers. At one point, the cinema snob contemplates hanging it up as far as reviewing is concerned. You see how that that's turned out, didn't ya? Yeah, hang it up, right. yeah. That's, that's yeah, he's still doing and it. And the only thing the only thing he hung up was his fucking hairline, because my god. <laughs> the whole mood of the m movie, while still filled with comedic and fun moments, is much darker than Tikasia and Suburban Nights. No, oh, it's much, it's much darker, you say. Because all I've seen so far is fucking bad effects and lame fucking comedy. <laughs> oh. And that's it. The rest is spoilers. Wow. Which I will not say. Wow. Did he just say? Did he just say someone was watching My Little Pony, and they said, "Damn right I am." Awesome. Yep. Ew, Doug's Ooh. beard. Dude, why is it oh. under his neck like that? That is a neck beard, bro. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I see it. Jesus. Uh, that shit looks like a chin strap. <laughs> Look at his hairline.
Oh, I'm good. They're sleeping next to each other. Come on, Doug. Oh, you mean Doug? <laughs> He's so insecure. <laughs> I wonder what Phelis thought about this scene. I made the mistake of looking to see how much time there was, and we're not even halfway through this shit. Oh god. We're not even close to halfway. Bro, we're only an hour and 13 minutes in. Oh. oh. You know, this is usually the point where we have like 20, 30 minutes left of a movie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have tears of anguish rolling down my face. Do you actually? No. <laughs> but I feel like I want to. <laughs>
What the fuck? <laughs> Again, why is everybody wearing mama jeans? I don't like. I don't understand. Why does film rain look like that? No! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no. No, just no. Oh. He said, watch the neck beard. Oh my god, bro. Yeah. 
Oh god. Shipping and handling sickness. Jesus. I'm sorry, but isn't calling an Indian person red blooded, isn't that racist? Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, fucking, uh. Dr. Insano, or Spoonie, whatever your name is, uh... You might want to explain yourself there. <laughs> Their ship is a house, too? Why? I don't even know. This is so cringe. It's so bad. Like, it's really so bad. Things that sound good to Yuju Wario should not be fucking good. Why does she just like smear shit on her face? I don't know. I 
Ow, fuck. Oh, it looks so bad. Oh, God. Well, a Game of Thrones reference, really? Why? <sighs> oh, my fucking God. We are still not even halfway yet. So they're killing Phalus. What the fuck, man? This is the tear jerking drama now. I'm guessing. Oh my god, we're so close to being halfway.
Please don't, it's not gonna be Doug in another cursed fucking costume. Oh, I think I know what it's gonna be. So, can I ask why, like, why does Spoonie play so many different characters? I don't know. supposed to be I think that's a judge dread costume oh my oh my don't tell me you're gonna make that a fucking PNG oh, oh. you know it oh, oh my god bro why dude why We're halfway officially. Means we have two hours. <laughs> What's the timer at, by the way? Um, it is at sixteen minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> I want this to be he over so bad. He has to hold it on his head. Man, Angry Joe is just fucking terrible. They're all terrible. <laughs> Every single one. Even the ones I like are bad in, in these movies, man. Like, and I, I, and I feel like, I feel like it's not even their fault either. Like, because, because it's fucking written by Doug and Rob, and I feel like they, they probably, because it's written by them, they have to fucking, and directed by Doug, they probably have to fucking, like, they, they probably wrote certain dialogue for them and, and stuff that they thought was fucking funny, even though it's not fucking funny, and fucking, 
probably sat there and directed them a certain way and to act a certain way. Like, it's so terrible, dude. Like, like, what's the point of even having all these fucking people in your goddamn movie if you can't even let them fucking be their goddamn self? Like, it's, it p actually pisses me off. Like, it's so stupid. Like, you bring all these different people in for your movies, and then you ha subject them to your fucking shitty fucking comedy fucking writing. Like, I don't... And, and your fucking shitty directing, and your shitty effects, and your shitty everything. Oh, my fucking god. Dude, I'm so sick of Doug Walker. You have no idea. You have no fucking idea, man. But Devin, he bought new glasses for us. Fuck his new glasses and fuck him. And fuck you. <laughs> Fucking now, I'm so mad that I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. It's like laughably bad. This is laughably bad. <laughs> So I guess Tails' character is that he just dies and comes back. Wonderful. He's fucking Kenny, <laughs> pretty much. And you wonder why he half-assed the fucking effects.
This is so terrible. Like genuinely, I'm starting to hate Spoonie more than fucking Doug Walker at this point. Jesus Christ. Like his acting is fucking atrocious. Oh, the effects, bro. They stole Cinema Snob. What is going on? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> None of these scenes make any fucking sense, dude. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So How are you not pissed? <laughs> this is terrible! I know it's terrible. What the fuck the matter is? You think this is what's making you fucking die <laughs> Well, of course I'm getting pissed. Do you don't understand how fucking bad this is? <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of Doug Walker and all these scenes that make no sense. These jokes that aren't funny. The fucking terrible effects. The terrible acting. The terrible fucking directing. Everything. Like, why? <laughs> so what you're telling me is that you're a r real big fan of Doug Tober. <laughs> I just saw a p big pair of tits. What's this? Oh, she's not even that attractive anyway. The fuck? No, he looks like a pedophile. <laughs> why would they make Rob Walker look like that? Well, he probably is one, but why would they make him look like that? <laughs> oh, no. Are you telling me his hairline is bad, too? Is it just... Does it run in the fucking Walker family? Barney Walker has hair. Radican. God, is that what his hair actually looked like at this time? I don't know. Oh my god. I don't see, because there's no way that's an effect or a prosthetic. They don't have the budget for that. Maybe hair dye, maybe. I don't know. Even still, that's bad. I mean, it would obviously be cheap hair dye. Even still, that hairstyle is bad. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> like, is that, was that his actual hair at this time? Like, that's, that, like, you <laughs> He went bald before Doug did, man. At least that's what it looks like. It, is Rob the older brother or younger brother? I'm pretty sure older. <laughs> So, Rob Walker has like a torture chamber where he keeps a woman? 
I guess. What's the timer at? I totally fucking forgot. Um. Three minutes. You know, th uh, three clips is usually how long our regular fucking live commentaries are. Oh, but we're still just a little bit over halfway. By the way, we're the 14th people to watch this, the 14th to Oh, great. You know? Wonderful, just wonderful. You know, you know, all of a sudden, I'm noticing a pattern in the shit that we've been doing recently. You know, we're, you know, somehow in all, in all these fucking movies that we're managing to watch, we're, we're, we're in the fucking very, very small minority of people that watch these fucking things. <laughs> you realize this. Yes, sadly, yes. This is the 47th movie I've watched this year, just so you know. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm getting close to 50. <laughs> oh, oh, great. I wonder what your 50th movie this year is going to be. I hope it's nothing bad. I just, I hope it's nothing bad. Let's hope, let's hope it's some fuck shit. Let's hope. <laughs> you know, you know, the thing is, like, <laughs> Last year I watched 80 movies in total. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I might break that this year. I don't know. It, I don't know. Are you? Does does that count movies outside of like stuff you do for live commentaries and reviews? Yeah, that counts movies outside. Because <sighs> since like the end of July. To like the end of September, which is now, and we're recording this. Uh, I have watched about almost 20 more movies because I watched Nope at the end of July. And that was the 30th movie I watched this year. Mm -hmm. This movie is so bad, man.
Oh my fucking oh. And my controller's about to die. Great. I'm gonna switch out my controller. Okay. What are they doing to film brain? I don't know. What the fuck? Is this supposed to be a Matrix reference? Um, oh, no. ho Oh my god, it's <laughs> It keeps getting worse. Don't, don't fucking go alone with you, Wario, Lupa. <laughs> don't. Why are they all eating painkillers? I don't know. Dude, this is what stock horror music. Fuck is that? Oh my god <laughs> <laughs> There are things in this world 
that you can never unsee. And that may have been one of those things. Why was his body built like some kind of like SCP creature? Like Are the are the are the Walker brothers gay? Like why would anyone want to see Spoony naked? He looks like I don't even uh He look he's look he looks like the rake if you know what the rake is. I know what the rake is. That's what he's built. Oh my god, dude, what is this fucking shit that we're fucking watching, dude? Oh my god. And and we're we're about to be two hours in. In one minute we're gonna be two hours in. Oh, I hope you're having your fun, because I'm certainly not. <laughs> this is an atrocity. Here's all the filler. An hour and a half left. It's time for filler. Oh god, dude. <laughs> that was fucking cursed. You don't say. <laughs> I'll be right back. You don't have to pause. In life, fucking does. I'm back. Begrudgingly, begrudgingly, I'm back to finish this bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the whole talking? What did I miss? I I I really don't know.
You're fucking just as bad as your fucking brother, you fu- Oh my god. So bad, dude. Rob Walker. <laughs> uh, why couldn't they just kill him? Oh. I'm going to be sick, Brad. I'm going to be sick. Darth what? I don't know what he said. This is so depressing to be watching this. <laughs> well, honestly, you haven't been saying much. What's your fucking thoughts? What's your this thoughts? Is so, it's just so cursed and bad. Like, I thought I'd be torturing you through this. But my only enjoyment is laughing at how mad you've been getting. That's are you only are you sick are you sick of Doug Walker yet? A little bit. <laughs> I told you, I told you that by to boldly flee even you were gonna be sick of him. I knew it, I was right. So you're telling me, you're telling me that Rob Walker is the bad guy in the film now. I guess. What happened to the other two characters? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oxygen is dropping, the bridge 
<laughs> Juario, I I think you thought about I think you thought more about what R. Kelly would do, not him. <laughs> The sound effects are so fucking corny. Like, why are we doing this, man? Why? <laughs> like, honestly. Like, honestly, this is so fucking bad. Like, like, dude, we're sitting here watching a fucking rapist and a pedophile having a sword fight. Oh, oh no, my god. god. <laughs> no, we're already halfway through. We might as well just fucking get through it. Oh, we're over halfway. Trust me, I've been I've been keeping track. <laughs> yeah, is that what you're doing, Juario? Fucking stick sticking your tip in the children like that? Oh my fucking god! Like honestly, honestly, dude. Oh, I'm so sick of Doug Walker. I'm so sick of these people. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to do but laugh. Yeah, I wonder how Phelous feels about that. You nearly died from lack of oxygen. But fortunately, you clowns were so hepped up on painkillers that it slowed down your metabolism. Oh, is that why I'm seeing two Aria without a shirt? Well, who's responsible for this? Him. He's your traitor. I knew it. I never did trust Link Kara. Kind of a freak for these lamps. It's Mecha Kara. Mm. Oh, is this supposed to be a fucking Mecha Godzilla reference?
I'm trying to keep myself composed right now. I don't even know what to say anymore. Well, you better figure out something, because I'm pissed. <laughs> Is this worse than to be Halloween for you? I know the answer to it, it's fine. Is that Darth Vader with sunglasses? I genuinely hate this so much. Genuinely. How is fucking Seema stop married? I see that way on my on his finger. I told you I hate film brain more even when I every time I see him I hate him more yeah well it hasn't stopped Yes, where they were. There they fucking are.
Oh my god, why does everyone keep doing that? Uh -huh. Oh my god, dude. I want this to be over so fucking bad. It just won't end. It just won't end. I just, I, this is so bad. Dude, this is so bad. It's so bad. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh, What's the timer at? I don't, don't even know anymore. We're about to be two and a half hours in this fucking house. We still got an hour left. Just fucking end. Oh my god. Dude, it's literally fucking like we started this at like fucking like three my time and it's fucking six. <laughs> no! Holy shit! <laughs> Why? Why? Why do you have Adam Sandler and Rob Schneider? Oh my god, dude. <sighs> what is this, man? What the fuck is this? What am I watching, dude? Genuinely, what the fuck? Is this some fucking Nazi propaganda now? What is this shit? Nosferatu? What is this? Is this just like... Is this Doug's fucking Nazi propaganda that he has on his VHS tapes? Like, what is this? What am I watching? Dude. What the fuck? I'm ready for this to be done! That's what I'm ready for. Oh, a death bomb. Fucking <laughs> just hurt. I'm glad. <laughs> now you know how I felt during Hoobie Halloween. this fucking person she's been in every fucking movie since kick ass you not one time has she been named not one time have they said where she's from who the fuck is she who is she who is this woman
Oh my god. Oh, that's just great. That's just great. The fucking, I'm trying to watch this, and guess what pops up on my screen? Austin, the artist, just uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, oh yeah, you didn't. You didn't tell me it was. It was dropping today. Now what? A, what a nice surprise, Austin. <gasps> It's literally the Death Star, but it's a bomb. How lame can you get, Doug? What's the timer at? Nine minutes. Nine minutes, you said? Yes.
Is this the is this is this the tear gripping or tear jerking drama? I don't know. You tell me. Are you crying yet? From laughter, yeah. Isn't this emotional and tear jerking? And it is. It, 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 it's. It's honestly. It's award-winning acting in this film. She doesn't want to be nostalgia chick anymore. I, I swear, if they fucking do a song, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> At least we haven't heard a song this entire movie. Think about that. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Don't fucking jinx it, cause you know you know it'll fucking happen. So something I'm uh, curious about here, in the description it says um, <clears throat> it says the fourth special anniversary of that guy with the glasses parts cut into one movie so was this in fucking parts or something I I guess so I mean it doesn't show this one this one so this is just a this is just a fucking Star Wars ripoff That's what it is! <laughs> it's just a fucking Star Wars ripoff! Bro, Doug and Rob have to be some of the fucking corniest motherfuckers I've ever seen. Uh... Oh my god, 
bad. It's so bad, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. Dude. This is so bad, Austin. Austin. <laughs> I don't this know what is to do anymore. We still have an hour <laughs> of this shit. Stop dancing. Do we seriously have an hour? Do we seriously have a fucking hour? Yes. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. We're two hours and thirty six minutes oh in. Oh my god, we still have an hour. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. I'm so <laughs> tired. Of Doug Walker, I'm so tired of Nostalgia Grid. I'm so tired of these stupid fucking movies. I just want it to end. I just want it to end. Why won't it end? Why? Why? No! No! I'm done! I am fucking done! I am tired of you, Doug Walker. I'm tired of your stupid fucking hairline, your stupid fucking necktie, your stupid glasses, your stupid jacket, your stupid head wobble that you do in your fucking intro, your stupid goddamn pedophile goatee, you fucking goddamn stupid ass brother, goddamn fucking stupid ass channel awesome, I'm fucking sick of it, I'm tired of you Doug, fuck off! <sighs> I'm tired of you stupid fucking cringy writing and directing and editing everything, Doug. This is so fucking terrible. Oh my god, this is terrible. You know what, you know what, you know what, no. 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 <laughs> I've had enough of this fucking shit. You know what? It's not even- it's not even just Doug anymore. It's not even just Doug. No, no. It's fucking Rob. It's fucking Cinema Snob. It's fucking Phalus. It's fucking Film Brain. It's everybody. Fuck you all. You pieces of shit. Fuck you all. I- Mmm. Like, what even is this? Why would you agree to this? Did Doug force you to be in this fucking thing? Did he force you? Were you contractually obligated by being part of Channel Fucking Awesome? Honestly. I don't think I've ever heard you get this mad before. Because I'm tired of Doug Walker. I'm sick. <laughs> Of the goddamn nostalgia critic, I'm sick of the fucking stupid face. I'm. S You're not a fucking hero. You are the biggest, fucking, most pathetic, fucking loser I've ever seen, Doug. This. Is pain genuine fucking pain right now? Huh? Fuck you too, Spoony, you little cunt. <laughs> oh my god. I'm tired of fucking Dr. Insano. I'm tired of your stupid big ass fucking goddamn Squidward nose. I'm sick of your goddamn fucking... Mmm, that's the timer, isn't it? That's the timer, isn't it? Let me save a clip. Alright, you fucking... Let's get back to your fucking Easter Island head looking fucking ass. You fucking goddamn cunt! Ooh. <gasps> fucking the only people that are even halfway decent in these movies is fucking Phalus and Lupa, and they're dragged into this fucking shit. 
And fucking there's d j fucking Jew Wario, the fucking pedo, fucking rapist, fucking whatever else he is. And I and like I said in Suburban Nights, I Doug knew, Doug fucking knew this whole time. Doug knew exactly what Jew Wario was doing. He didn't stop it. Why didn't you stop it, Doug? Why didn't you stop it? Oh, because because it was all for your fucking movies and your fucking ego. Where's James Rolfe? Damn it! Oh Isn't God. he in this shit? Where is he? Where's he at? Where's James Rolfe? He's supposed to play Gort. You realize? You realize this is two fucking houses shooting at each other in space. Do you know how absurd that is? Oh my god, I'm tired of his fucking pro Jared looking ass. Get him off my screen. I'm surprised pro Jared isn't in these movies. Maybe him and Jew Wario can diddle kids together. And fucking film brain with his stupid Whoa. fucking big ass forehead. His fucking cringy ass acting. His fu oh, fucking critic. Critic. What are you doing, critic? Fuck you, cunt. Oh, A Dell God. computer. Come on, Doug. You have more money than that. And this fucking guy. Fucking. Mm, what's his name? Luke? Is that his fucking name? Yeah. Of course it is, because cause get it? Luke Skywalker. Star Wars. <laughs> I'm Doug. I'm Rob. I can't get out of the 80s. My hairline's receding. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Don't for, don't think I forgot about Cinema Stop. Hey, Brad, you tried COVID. How about you fucking? How about you try fucking? Mmm. Why don't you fucking try heroin, Brad? He already did. What? Well, okay, Brad. Well, how about you fucking goddamn try suicide then? How about that? Oh, oh no. You're nothing but a fucking wannabe nostalgia critic, and that's sad. The way you dress, the way you act, you're nothing but a fucking wannabe, fucking second-rate nostalgia critic, Doug Walker, fucking bootleg. I'm red in the face, Matt, right now. Oh my god. You still have like 45 minutes. I know! <laughs> including credits. Including credits. You try to see when the credits start to this. Let me get on you, fucking Rob Walker. You look like fucking goddamn... Mmm, look like fucking goddamn John Wayne Gacy with your fucking hairline. If fucking, you know what? Fucking Jew Wario looks like John Wayne Gacy. Oh do you my think God. he? Do you think he dressed up as like a clown at all? The credits don't start until like 3:25, so we only have three minutes of credits. Wow. There's only three minutes of credits. Great. Star Wars! Star Wars! Oh my god, Star Wars is so amazing! Oh my god! Let me tell you something, Doug. I've seen the movies. And guess what, Doug? They suck! Oh my god. And I hope I hurt your feelings. I hope I hurt your feelings, Doug. Because you deserve it. For what you put all these fucking people in your movies through. For what you put me through. Mmm. <sighs> <clears throat> 
Well, from what you're saying, this is going to be worse than Hubie Halloween. So, do you think anything's going to be worse than this? I sure to God hope not. <laughs> Fuck you, Mati. Look at that old ass TV, bro. Come on, Doug. You know you had fucking money. Fucking cheapskate. Nah, nah. You probably you probably took all the money from. I bet you these people didn't even get paid. Doug probably took all the money from this movie and probably fucking. You know, those are probably real painkillers that they were taking. That probably wasn't a prop. Oh, you know, you know, Doug probably spent the money from this movie on probably fucking drugs and fucking pro probably fucking. Oh, it's getting, it's getting meta. It's getting meta. He, no. he probably fucking he probably bought fucking child porn for Jew Wario with his no, money. Man, he probably stop. he probably stop. fucking sat there and fucking like paid for a bunch of hookers and cheated on his wife or something. Like fucking Oh, what is this now, it's dude? It's being so meta. No. <sighs> Why is it getting meta? I am so sick of fucking Star- Like, I'm so over the overratedness of fucking Star Wars, dude. Like, do you understand how many fucking specials and references Family Guy did on that shit? Enough yes. is enough, dude. Star Wars sucks, okay? It sucks. I'm sick and tired of seeing Star Wars and all this goddamn shit. I, what, what is so legendary about it? I saw the movies. They fucking suck, okay? And all, all I see is people complaining about, oh, the new Star Wars movie sucks. Star Wars sucks now. Yeah, stop acting like it's the fucking greatest fucking film that ever fucking exists. <laughs> Doug, <laughs> Rob. Oh my god. I hope you choke on that popcorn, fucking Rob. Oh no! <sighs> what kind of popcorn is that? Why is it in like a cylinder tin? I'm actually so mad right now that I'm shaking. <laughs> to calm down and breathe. breathe. There is still like fucking 40 minutes. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Breathe. Say something. Give me a rest. Okay. 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 <laughs> I, I don't. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to say. <laughs> um. I've never really liked Star Wars myself either. It fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> They're using Mario Kart items. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Dude, why? Oh my god, he has a My Little Pony shirt on, I saw that. Is he a brony? I don't know. Flatter than fucking Casey Catanzaro, dude. Surgery on a red show. I'm sorry. <sighs>
Yeah, stroke your own ego some more, you fucking prick. Fuck you, Doug. Okay, Doug and Evolving, what? So what's your thoughts on that? This movie fucking is terrible. <laughs> what are you gonna do for the thumbnail there, big man? Oh no. I fucking know at this point. I'll be right back, you don't have to pause. Okay, okay.
Ah, oh, Jesus. fuck is this? What in the fuck? What in the fuck? Bro!
god, we're almost in. Ah. Uh. God, I'm back to finish this fucking bullshit. Well, I guess this the sage, uh, the sage or whatever, the one that had psychic powers or whatever. He turned into like a Dragon Ball Z character. Hold on, what time are you at? I'm. I need fucking seep. Your fucking seep? Would you say? Uh, fucking. Let me check. I don't know what my fucking controller is. Three oh two twenty four. I paused at it. <sighs> Sorry, I had to feed my dog and take her out. That's what I was doing. Oh, it's it's fine. I'm just I'm fuck me. <laughs> just fuck me, dude. You're at three oh two. What? Twenty four. I'm at three o. God damn it! Go back. I'm at three o two twenty nine. It's loading. Okay. All right. Now I'm at three o two twenty nine. All right. Three, two, one. Let's finish this fucking shit. You did the countdown for the movie. <laughs> I did it earlier when we paused too. Oh uh, shit, I didn't even realize. Yeah, you dumbass. <laughs> I can't, I... I can't, I can't even get mad anymore, I, like, now I'm at the point where my fucking energy's just gone. I don't even know, man. <laughs> so they just blew up the fucking death bomb. What happened to Critic? What did I miss with him? Uh, still talking to the writer. You know, imagine how the people feel that are walking outside. Hmm. Like they don't even fucking know that they're in a movie.
Where's James Rolfe? I don't know. Don't, don't fucking know. I have, don't recall seeing any characters named Gort yet. Also, what's the timer at? I'd be so lost at this point on time. 23 minutes. Okay. Well, that's enough fucking time for the goddamn movie that you realize this is gonna have like seven parts for one movie. I, I know. <laughs> yeah, you're editing this fucking thing, you motherfucking cunt. That's what you get. I know. Oh, God damn it. just as phony anyway. How are you enjoying this tear-jerking drama? I'm not. <laughs> Tired of seeing his stupid fucking face. Fuck Spoonie.
What the fuck? Who? Oh my! So you save James Rolfe for when there's literally like 10, 15 minutes left of this movie. <laughs> Who are these people, man? I don't know. <laughs> Just end, please. Oh my god, there's still like ten minutes. Two thousand four Diva Search. Oh god. <laughs> I'm trying to see if that helps end this fucking faster. <laughs>
Again, I ask, why is he not allowed to be AVGN? I don't know. Like, make it make sense, man. What is happening? I don't even know. Oh god, you turned into Electro. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know what to say. Genuinely, I. I just don't. <laughs> I don't know. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I can't even get angry any more. I can't. Like, I just, I don't have the energy for it anymore. Is that Film Brain's actual name? I don't know. No, oh, come on. No, his name is Matthew. <laughs> what the fuck?
I'm telling you, Doug is homosexual. Look how he's looking at him, Brad. You got something to say, Brad? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! I swear they were just p playing a the sad panda song. Oh god. Oh my god, it's it. over. Oh, oh my god, my we god. fucking god. <laughs> oh did my it. god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. And oh. that. And that. Was. Too boldly. Fucking. Flee. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so long. We did it, Austin. I made it through Doug Tober. I don't know how, but I made it. Barely. Oh my god, my head hurts. Jesus Christ. This is. What's the timer at, actually? Let me check. Two minutes. Okay, let's get into our thoughts.
I'm not watching no more. <laughs> Fuck you, Rob Walker. Fuck you, Doug Walker. Fuck you, everyone. Anyway. Oh my god, oh my god there's a post-credit scene. You know, fuck it. Let's watch it. Let's watch it before I even get into my thoughts, because why not? Watch three and a half fucking hours. What's another... <laughs> however long. When does it start? Uh, let me see. 328.19. Alright, I'm at 328.19. Are you there? Yep. In three... Two, one, go. We did it. We made it through all three Doug Walker films. Oh my god. I'm so fucking tired of Doug. I'm so fucking done with Doug. <laughs> I can finally be free from Doug Walker. Oh my god. Until the Sounds of Cringe 3. If you ever fucking edit Nostalgia Cringe 2. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me get into my thoughts. Because this is for sure over four hours. Unless you want this to be longer than King of the Monsters, I suggest we get our thoughts done. <laughs> I don't want it to be longer than King of the Monsters. Remember you're editing this. <laughs> My throat hurts from fucking yelling earlier. <laughs> well, my thoughts on To Boldly Flee, by far, by and far past everything else, the absolute fucking worst thing that I have ever laid my eyes upon, the absolute worst film I've ever watched, absolutely fucking terrible the acting was atrocious it was cringe the writing was terrible the directing was terrible the effects look like ass but i mean we know why they look like ass uh doug is terrible rob is terrible they have terrible creative personalities fucking fuck both of them and fuck everyone who is in this movie except phalus and lupa Fucking Phalus, I still like your views, and Lupa, you're fucking hot, and that's all I gotta say about that. Secondly, fuck Doug Walker, you piece of shit. Fuck Rob Walker. Fuck Brad Jones. Fuck Channel Awesome. I'm done with Doug Walker. Oh, and, and, and fucking, I guess I have to, I guess I have to also say... Uh, not fuck everyone in this movie besides Phalus, Lupa, and also James Rolfe. I almost forgot about James Rolfe because apparently Doug almost forgot about James Rolfe because he didn't even put him in until the last 10 minutes. So, therefore, fuck Doug Walker. But this was horrible. Three and a half hours of my life that I will never fucking get back. Three and a half fucking hours. Oh my god, man. This was terrible. This was fucking terrible. Fucking atrocious. Worst thing I've ever watched. Worst thing I've ever watched. By far. Would I ever own this? No! Would I ever watch this again? No! And what is my ranking for this? Well, ladies and gentlemen. This is worse than anything I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if anything can top this. But you know, this movie's about going into space and going into the universe and the fucking plot hole and all this. So this is worse. This is worse than hell. 
this is gonna open up you see you see stuff like food fight and stuff like fucking um who be halloween and fallen kingdom and jason goes to hell you see that all goes in hell no 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 this this is something that is worse therefore this will be going below hell that's right oh God. all the way below hell so that means if I ever put something in the 100th circle of hell this will still be below that oh. ladies and gentlemen I I don't even know what to call this new fucking place that I'm putting this in maybe purgatory maybe is purgatory worse than hell well, it's technically not hell. I'm pretty sure it's like a endless suffering. Well, that's, of... okay, that's what I'm going to do. This movie is the first and hopefully only movie that will be reserving its own special place and its own special category of purgatory. That's right. To boldly flee was so fucking bad. It's worse than hell. It's going in purgatory. Because watching this movie... And Austin, you can attest to this. It feels like endless torture and endless hell. So, therefore, to boldly flee goes into purgatory. Fuck this movie and fuck Doug Walker. Please give your thoughts. Well, this movie was terrible. One of the worst things I've ever fucking watched. It's it's definitely worse than Hoobie Halloween. Like, but that's a given. Like, I knew it was going to be worse than Hubie Halloween. So there's that. Um, personally, I did not realize how fucking much this was going to drag. Because the other movies felt a lot faster. You don't say. <laughs> but, um, this was three and a half fucking hours, man. Yeah, but yeah, so it dragged, it was fucking terrible, no I have not watched this again, no I would not own this. Unless uh, you want to pay I'd several hundred dollars to own this, <laughs> I don't think anyone will. But uh, I probably have to give this a rating, same rating as Devin purgatory because I don't fucking know where else to put it so so is this officially the worst thing you've ever watched as well yeah it's, it's fucking bad congratulations Doug Walker look what you've done to us we're the 14th and 15th people to watch this piece of shit and look what you've done, Doug. You deserve a round of applause for creating possibly the worst piece of fucking media in a video format I've ever seen. Congratulations, Doug. Hope you're proud of yourself. You too, Rob. Give you give you a little golf clap there. Well, I have a, a song to play this out with. If you so... Could, uh, before you do that, what what do you think of this being Doug's magnum opus? I hate it. What do you do? You think that this is where the nostalgia critic should have ended? Yes. So I wonder, like, at the time when he did this, like, I wonder. Like, what, like, after, so after he did this, like, after this movie came out, like, what did he do on his channel? Like, did he just go he for a while a without show. Nostalgia Critic stuff? Yeah. Even for, like, three months without Nostalgia Critic stuff, maybe this thing called Pop Quiz Hot Shot. Oh, God. Which we could always watch that. No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he just did that. As his nostalgic character, and uh, yeah, and he went back to nostalgic soon after because everybody hated it. 
Damn. Well, I mean, everybody hates Nostalgia Critic now, so I guess Doug can't really win, can he? No. Let me well, play this out here. I was about to ask, what's this magical song that you're going to play? Is a cello cover of the Nostalgia Critic theme. Does to boldly flee I actually have an actual theme song? No. Well, shit. Wow, Doug, so you make a three and a half hour movie and you can't even bother to make a theme? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, yep, that was to boldly flee the worst of them all, the worst of the worst. And that was Doug fucking Tober. Never again. Never a fucking again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I will be the one to announce here that... Oh, did the song end? Did you tape on those front parts? Where's your So, I will be the first to announce here that we've already, already decided and done what our Thanksgiving special is going to be and we are officially announcing that it is going to be our first ever triple feature that's right three fucking movies back to back to back but not just any films these films are probably the most uh, one of the most if not the most iconic film trilogy ever made Austin watches these every year as a tradition for Thanksgiving. You know, you know what? Why don't, why don't you tell him what it is since you're uh, this is your thing? So I watch them every year for Thanksgiving, and the first ever triple feature is going to be the Back to the Future uh, for trilogy. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you watched that? <laughs> I watched it, but it was. You really, you want to know why I botched it? I just sat here for three hours, laughing my ass off because you were getting so fucking pissed. That's why I botched it. I. <laughs> well, yeah. So our Thanksgiving special is going to be the Back to the Future trilogy, our first ever triple feature, and my God, it's going to be so long. It's uh, it's going to be longer than this, believe it or not. And this is yeah. already this is already running as a fucking contender for being longer than a double feature. And this is one movie. <laughs> Man. Yeah. So <sighs> my fucking god, dude. My my fucking head hurts. I'm fucking hungry. I haven't eaten since like goddamn like twelve fucking twelve thirty. Fucking mmm. Mm. Oh, my fucking head hurts, dude. What a fucking atrocity this was. I'm trying to look up this fucking theme song, but it's not fucking loading for some reason. You know what? Fine. This this works. We're we're gonna play it out with this. This is a uh, what a better what a better way to play this out with than a, a song that Lasad Panda made for to boldly flee. It's called Lasad Panda to boldly flee ending song crushing boots. So let's play it out. This was to boldly flee, and this was Doug Tober, everyone. 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time for the Back to the Future triple feature. That's going to be a long one, but it'll be a, at least a good one because it's at least three good movies. And trust me, after this shit, we need some good movies. Holy fuck. <laughs> Like, I like bad movies, don't get me wrong. I like, like, Asylum-type shit, just because I find it laughably bad. But even I need to watch something good after this. Holy fuck. I don't know how I made it through this. But I have survived Dugtober. <laughs> you know, honestly, at this point, I don't think there's anything that you could put me through that's going to be worse than this. Honestly, I don't think there. I don't think there's anything. Oh, no, no, let me find something. Because you try, you try it, Adam Sandler, and it backfired. And then Doug, Doug, Doug got me pretty fucking bad. Pretty fucking bad, dude. But I don't know why you love Doug so much. That being said, let's end this, because I'm guessing future Austin editing this is probably pissed off right now that we're still talking. So. Let's go ahead and end this. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all next time for the Thanksgiving special. And, um... Yeah. That was to boldly flee, and... Fuck you, Doug Walker. I'm so glad to be done. Thank you for watching, Doug Tober. Let's go back to the future. <laughs>